Let's talk about iron and why most men actually only need about one milligram of it from their diet every day. I know that this might sound completely crazy, especially with how often we hear about iron deficiency being the most common nutrient deficiency in the world. But stick with me, because once you understand how iron works in your body, it'll all make sense. So first off, iron is a mineral that we absolutely need. It helps your blood carry oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body, and without it, you simply couldn't survive. It's also important for your immune system and even brain function. Because of this, doctors routinely check iron levels through blood tests. Millions of people get diagnosed with low iron or iron deficiency anemia every year. They're often told to take iron supplements right away. But here's the problem. Those tests don't always tell the full story. In reality, most people, especially men in developed countries, aren't truly iron deficient. In fact, they're more likely to have too much iron in their bodies in a bio-unavailable form that cannot be accessed. This is something called iron overload or iron toxicity. It's basically hidden iron stuck in tissues where it can't be used and it causes damage through oxidative stress and inflammation. Some of the best research on non-hemochromatosis iron overload comes from George Brewer, who years ago already noted, normal levels of iron that may be healthy during the reproductive years appear to be contributing to diseases of aging and possibly the aging process itself. It's clear that oxidant damage contributes to many of the diseases of aging, such as atherosclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, diseases of inflammation, diseases of fibrosis, diseases of autoimmunity, and so on. So why does this happen? It's because our bodies are extremely good at holding on to iron. Back in prehistoric times, people would often lose a lot of blood through things like injuries, infections, or parasites, for example. And it was also very hard to get enough iron just from food. Our bodies adapted to this by becoming very efficient at recycling and storing iron. What that means is that every single day, your body needs around 25 milligrams of iron to keep everything running. But almost all of that, so around 24 milligrams, doesn't come from your food. It comes from the recycling of old red blood cells. Your body breaks down old blood cells after around 120 days and then reuses the iron to make new ones. This happens in a network called the reticuloendothelial system. That means your body only actually needs around one milligram of new iron every day from your diet. That's it. And that tiny amount is very easy to get, even if you only eat red meat once or twice a week. Now, let's talk about why this is something that especially men need to be aware of. Unlike women, men don't have a natural way to regularly get rid of iron. Women lose some blood every month through their period, which helps keep iron levels in check. That's also why the serious symptoms of genetic iron overload from a disease called hemochromatosis often show up decades earlier in men. Because we aren't losing blood regularly, us men tend to pile up more and more as we get older, especially if we eat a lot of red meat, take iron supplements, or live in countries where foods are fortified with extra iron. Now, why don't most doctors catch this? That's because standard blood tests are honestly very bad at showing true iron overload. Most iron is stored inside tissues like the liver, and it's not floating around in your blood. You could have low blood iron and still have too much toxic iron stuck in your organs. Ferritin is a better indicator of this, but it can also be normal or only slightly elevated while your organs are already overloaded. Again, this excess iron causes a lot of oxidative stress because you're basically rusting from the inside out. It damages tissues, drives inflammation, messes up your mitochondria, and contributes to problems like fatigue, liver issues, joint pain, and even heart disease. So if you're a man and see low iron markers on your blood test, don't automatically reach for iron pills. First, figure out if your body has problems with iron recycling and iron transport. Often the real issue is that your body isn't using the iron that it already has properly. Usually this will be linked to things like copper problems, ceruloplasmin levels, which is a protein that helps manage iron and copper, and liver health. So instead of cranking up iron intake right away, it's often better to first improve your mineral balance, support your liver, and get your iron metabolism working right. For some men with confirmed iron overload, Supervised blood donations can also help, 
but that's something you definitely want to discuss with your practitioner. If this topic is completely new to you, then I will link related videos that describe iron overload in more detail. They will all be found in the description where you can also find my recovery program that I created especially for people with chronic fatigue. It has an entire lesson just on fixing iron issues and guides you through the whole process step by step. Again, for more info, just check the description. It will all be there.